Okay guys, we're set up here in Xcode and we're going to see how we can remove keychain items associated with an iOS app that we have previously stored. What we are looking at on the screen is the viewcontroller.m file of the Xcode project that we have going right now. And you'll notice in its view did load method, we have a few things going on. Prior to this demo, we have already implemented some methods that are able to interact with the iOS keychain on behalf of this application. And so you can see me making some calls here, although it's all commented out. We have a write to keychain username password method, allowing us to store some information in the iOS keychain. We also have a search for keychain or rather a search keychain for username method, allowing us to retrieve a particular item if it exists. And then another method here, update keychain for username, password, allowing us to update again a keychain item if it exists. In this demo, we're interested in seeing how we can remove an existing keychain item entirely, and we're going to implement that in the delete keychain item for username method. You can see it's stub right below, but before we jump into that, what we want to do is make sure we have something to delete. So I'm going to actually call my write to keychain username password method, passing in a username of Andy and a password of password. And after we do that, we're just going to search again using the unique string representing a username here, just as a sanity check. So let's run the application we're going to be looking for our results in the Xcode output. So here you can see once the simulator pops up and I take a look in the output, what you'll notice is when we attempted to write to the keychain our new item, we were told that the item already exists. So that's a good sign. And when we searched, we found that item and we can see that the password that's actually stored is a string new password. So that's as a result of also having called this update keychain for username method and you can see where I'm updating with the new password. So again, that's just to ensure that we have something in there that we can remove. Let's go ahead and get some space here and jump into our delete keychain item for username method. And what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to set up a dictionary that we can use to help us work with the iOS keychain services API and remove any keychain items that we would like to. I'm going to go ahead and paste this in and this dictionary is going to have some specific keys and values. Again, keys and values that the keychain services API is going to be expecting to see. So creating that dictionary, it's a NS mutable dictionary. I'm giving it a name of keychain item. And then the first key I'm setting is ksec class to a value of ksec class internet password, because in this particular demo, this is the class of keychain item we are working with. Next, I'm setting a key here, ksec attribute accessible to indicate when this keychain item is going to be accessible to my app. And what we're saying here is you're only going to be accessible when the device is unlocked. And I can indicate that by using the ksec attribute accessible when unlocked constant. The next key I'm setting up here is very important. And that's the ksec attribute account. This needs to be set to a unique identifier for a particular keychain item. So you can see in this demo, we're going to use the username that's passed into our method here. Since this is in line with us using this username as our unique identifier in all of the other methods. Those are again, the write, the search and the update methods. So now our dictionary is set up in such a way where I can use it to actually query the iOS keychain for a particular item. So next, what I'm going to do is paste in some code to actually perform that query, see if we find an item. And if we do find that item, then we're going to ask the keychain services API to remove that item. So pasting this in, you can see here, I'm going to perform my search by using the security item copy matching method coming from the keychain services API and passing in as a first parameter, our query dictionary keychain item and null as a second parameter in this instance. And this method, if it returns to me a value of zero or no error, that means we have found the item in question, the item pointed to or indicated by the keychain item dictionary. We're okay to attempt to work with this item. And what we want to do is delete it. So I'm going to be using another method coming from the keychain services API, and that's the sec item delete or security item delete. 
quite simply I'm going to pass in the keychain item I want to delete and I'm also going to set up a OS status return type here to get back a result on the operation. I'm calling it status and you can see I'm going to check and see again if my status is no error or zero then my item was deleted successfully or else something else happened and we could not delete the item. So now that's all there is to removing an item for a particular app from the iOS keychain. Now knowing that we have seen already in this demo that a particular item and internet type username and password has been stored let's see if we can go ahead and delete it remember that item is uniquely identified by the username andy so what i'm going to do is i'm going to attempt to delete it and then as a sanity check we're going to search for it and hope we do not find it so i'll just comment out these few initial lines to declutter our output and let's run the application and as before we're going to be looking in the output window in xcode and if I get a bit more space here, you can see our keychain item was deleted and our secondary search here, we cannot find it. So it looks like that worked well.